Welcome to Comments Podcast, the show where we discuss a variety of topics with your host, Nina. The UK has finally parted from the European Union permanently as of uh, January 2021. But Brexit has brought a plethora of anticipated problems at the borders. Apparently, some British haulage companies have, with a degree of foresight, paused transporting goods uh, from the UK across to the EU and Northern Ireland, having foreseen problems unfolding. Adjusting to the new changes has led to confusion over the new, more complex border checks, customs through to which documents need to be completed upon entry. Businesses are carrying the bulk of the burden of the changes and will probably take a few weeks for them to adjust. Some companies may not as yet fully grasp the gamut of documentation and need more time to comply. This is meant without presentation of the correct documents. Lorry drivers have been unable to pass through UK ports across to either the EU or Northern Ireland. Haulage companies do need a transition period as they adjust to the introduction of the new paperwork now that Britain is no longer a member of the European Union. At the moment there are teething problems which need to be overcome and I assume they probably will be after a short time frame. However, one negative growing concern is that some businesses may opt to switch suppliers and source their products more locally in order to avoid delays in delivery of supplies. Ports across the UK are facing problems um, as in Scotland's businesses have been struggling to adjust to the new additional paperwork with exporters experiencing delays to shipments. As a major exporter of uh, wild farm salmon, Scottish exporters are now required to obtain an export health certificate, which is an additional documentation requirement. And this is uh, consequently been holding up shipments to the European um, Union from Scotland. These further delays being experienced by Scottish exporters of seafood is causing concern as it's imperative their produce remains fresh and inevitably exporters are anxious to avoid late delivery or worse still cancellation of uh, future orders. Undoubtedly, the imposition of custom and export adjustments is causing a degree of damage to businesses currently. And especially during the pandemic, many companies and businesses are already struggling to operate profitably. Another recent impact at the borders has been the confiscation of uh, packed lunches. Um, Many lorry drivers were surprised to find their ham sandwiches being confiscated when they reached the border of Holland. Dutch border guards removed their ham or other meat to pack lunch sandwiches. Um, apparently, there are now further restrictions applied as the UK is no longer a member of the EU. Hence, this means that travellers entering the EU from the UK are unable to bring in certain products containing dairy or meat. I guess this means vegan sandwiches would perhaps be compliant, maybe. It is a trivial but important uh, new adjustment um, which is applied since we've uh, left the European Union. Northern Ireland hauliers are also experiencing difficulties. Um, Deliveries have been suspended by certain high street retailers from UK, from England, um, across to Northern Ireland due to the confusion on custom declaration requirements on packages. 
many reliant retailers are reliant on postal deliveries of orders placed online and during lockdown with stores uh, closed the majority of retail sales are generated online hence ensuring the smooth delivery of orders to their customers from retailers is crucial without them being compounded with further confusion over customs declarations on goods. One respite is the UK uh, government has offered a transition period until April 2021 that means parcels valued at less than £135 going from Great Britain across to Northern Ireland would not need customs declarations. Inevitably, I guess the whole procedure of transporting goods across from um, the borders from the UK has slowed down temporarily, but will probably pick up in due course once businesses have set up the necessary processes and the procedures are embedded. Thank you for tuning in to today's episode. You can subscribe to the Comments Podcast via iTunes, Spotify and other major podcast providers.